I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on Assassin's Creed Shadows early, and this is the Ubisoft version, not the Steam version, so I do expect there to be slightly better performance when the Steam version releases, however this is what I've got my hands on for now. As you can see I'm actually quite far into the game, thanks to GeForce now for giving me early access to this to test out on there, and you'll see some of that performance in a minute, but on the Steam Deck we are just about able to hold 30 frames per second. Hence the verified status on this, but the default settings I do not agree with at all especially as they've completely locked them down on the Steam Deck, so we don't have a lot to choose from, apart from which upscaler we want to use and what amount of upscaling dynamic resolution we want to use. Unfortunately, with heavy combat, even 30% at the low end is too much, so I have had to set this to between 20 and 30% with XESS to get the best out of this, and we do get some graininess in heavy combat on occasions, but for the most part, with everything going on, we are managing to hold over that 30 mark. So that is my recommended settings for this at the moment. And hopefully we'll get a bit better from the Steam version with the shader cache pre-rendered. And they will hopefully unlock those settings in a future update so we can tweak them ourselves and get some better performance out of this, especially over 30 FPS. We do have the ability to play this or we will have the ability to play this at launch on GeForce Now though and you can see here the difference between running the combat locally and running it on the full ultra settings on the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. It is still capped at 60 frames per second on the Steam Deck though until we get a native GeForce Now app update but even running it at block 60 looks absolutely gorgeous if you have the internet and network to run it. Okay there is a bit of an extra cost but to run this at full ultra settings for around £20 a month is still much cheaper than buying a high-end PC and of course you can just run that subscription as and when you need it. This is also on Ubisoft Plus so if you don't want to buy Assassin's Creed Shadows outright you can subscribe to the Ubisoft Plus for a month and get it as part of the subscription on there. Running with GeForce Now on the Steam Deck though Although we're getting the 1200p downscale to 800p, it is a crystal clear image and there is no feeling of input latency at all because it struggles to run on the Steam Deck locally. Any latency is counterbalanced by the ultimate tier with the minor input latency of the network. But as it is running so smoothly on ultimate tier with reflex, you won't notice it compared to local. Overall, Assassin's Creed Shadows takes a bit of getting used to and a lot of growing, getting used to the combat, and you do need to get used to switching weapons for heavier enemies, otherwise it does feel like you're just hacking away for quite some time. Don't let your guard down though, because even when you take down major enemies, you could just get taken out by a low life, lower level, if you're not fully paying attention. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be picking this one up, either on Steam or via Ubisoft Connect. If you want to run the Ubisoft version on the Steam Deck, check out our guide in the description below to how to install Ubisoft Connect on the deck. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.